Hey, have you been in the market for a carbon bow with Elite's shootability features and tuning features? The Elite Carbon Eon. Stay tuned to the end. We got a special big buck hunting challenge with the Carbon Eon. Hey everybody, this is PJ Riley from Lancaster Archery in our video studio today with the flagship carbon bow for 2025 from Elite. This is the Carbon Eon. So this is Elite's second iteration of a carbon bow. You know, they came out with the Era two years ago. That was the first carbon bow they ever made. That one, of course, won the Outdoor Life Bow of the Year. I was on the team that picked that. That was because it just blew us away that Elite came out, boom, their first attempt at carbon, and they hit it out of the park. Well, now this is their second attempt, so of course, they made some improvements on it. However, I will tell you straight up front, a lot of it is similar to the carbon era, including the riser. The riser is exactly the same. This bow is going to measure 31 and 5 16 inches. That's just a little bit shorter than the uh, carbon era, which is 31 and a quarter, 16th of an inch. Same with the brace height. You're gonna have seven and five sixteenths versus seven and a quarter. Um, so those are just minor differences there. But the big difference between the two is this cam up here. So this is the SP2 cam, new cam from Elite that still has all the same power and efficiency. It's a little bit smoother on the draw than the cam that was on the Carbon Era. And it does have the brand new VX mod. So let's take a look at this cam here. One of the first things you're gonna notice about the cam is this split yoke right here. So the Carbon Era had uh, Elite's um, ASIM tri-track. It's a three-track cam. That just you know basically means you have tracks for three cables uh, on the cam. This one, as you can see, is a quad track. So this has four tracks. You got your string, you got your front cable, and then you got the tracks for each of your yokes. And what this yoke allows them to do is on these shorter axle to axle bows, it eliminates any possibility of a cam rubbing a cable. You know, when you got to get the cable from a position on the cam right to the linear tunable roller with that short distance because it's a shorter bow, sometimes they can come close to that cam, especially as you start tuning, as you start using set and you're manipulating that cam it's possible that you can run into some interference with the cable and the cam. With the quad track, that cannot happen. There's just too much room there. Um, and then besides that, having the yokes on both sides of the cam here just helps that cam stay vertical. Uh, just a little more supportive position there. But the VX mod, that's what we've got up here. So that's going to give you draw length adjustment on this bow from 25 and a half to 31 inches. As Elite has been doing the last several years, you can make your adjustments in quarter inch increments with the module. That just eliminates a lot of cable twisting to get that draw length just where you want it. When you can adjust in quarter inches, uh, it just gets it to fit. Uh, you can get the fit exactly how you want it a little bit easier than when it's half inch. And then up here, we do have our adjustable stop for let off. So you can see this screw in here and it's in a channel. This um, stop here can be adjusted infinitely anywhere you want between 70 and 90%. So it's on 90% right now. If I pushed it all the, uh, all the way the other way, it would be at 70 anywhere in between there that you like it, so you're on the line testing, you can move it a little bit, move both of them, you know, just a little bit, get it exactly where you want it, what feels right to you, get that holding weight specifically where you want it by having it infinitely adjustable. You know, Elite is all about shootability. They want you to be able to take this bow, this is the same bow that everyone shoots, and customize it to you. You can do that with 
uh, Elite's bows with this SP2 cam, the VX mod. That's why that system's in place there. Now, staying up here at the top of the bow, of course, we have our set technology. Love the set technology. This is for when you're tuning. You're out there shooting through paper, okay? You get a left or a right tear. You're just gonna loosen this bolt right here, come over to the side, and you can see. You're gonna turn this screw, and you've got your directions right there. Tail left, you're gonna go counterclockwise. Tail right, you're gonna go clockwise on this bolt. Just incredibly easy, and you can do it right while you're standing in front of the paper. You don't have to go back to a bow press and you know move spacers, none of that stuff. You just make these twists right there and watch that bullet hole, or watch that hole come into a bullet hole. Then you lock it down and you're good to go. What SET does is similar to cam lean, but it does it at the pocket. So you're, you're manipulating the pocket this way, which ultimately, um, puts different pressures on the cam, but by doing it at the pocket, just a more stable way to do that. And again, super easy to use and user-friendly. I love that sticker right there. Because I, I can promise you, I'd forget which way to turn it every time I used it. So again, staying up here, you know, we mentioned um, this one does have a new limb pocket as well. That's to accept this device right here. You can see it's a Picatinny rail. This is, what Elite calls their rail accessory connection. You got one there, you got one there. So they're gonna have some accessories that will mount onto that rail. Um, and so that's what that's for. Likewise, you know, there are some bow stands out there. You can imagine if I had a bow stand mounted on there, I could rest my bow in that position. So it's a Picatinny rail to attach accessories. Taking a look at the riser, as we mentioned, you know, this is the same riser uh, that is on the era and unique in the carbon world is that we got the dual bridges there. We don't really see that in carbon bows, um, but Elite kept that in there. That's kind of their signature and just helps with uh, the rigidity of this bow. And one of the things that's unique about Elite's carbon, especially since they just came out with it, two years ago is these bows just don't have a lot of the hand thump that you feel with carbon. Today, bow companies have done a great job of really killing that shock compared to what it was like 10 years ago if you shot a carbon bow, man, that thing about took your elbow off. But all the companies have done well with that and Elite is one of them. They've got those dual bridges there. Um, great feature that Elite built in there. So for your accessories, it's gonna be your standard bolt on to the side for your sight. You're gonna have your burger hole for your rest. You're gonna have stabilizers uh, positions uh, up front right behind the grip, right below the grip. And then you're gonna have one down here as well. And of course, um, Elite has uh, a, a unique, they have their own proprietary side rod connection. That's gonna go in right here. Um, if you use that connection uh, to connect your side rod, that's where it's gonna go, right in there. So the speed rating for this boat is going to be up to 336 feet per second. Uh, we will do our own test just to um, measure that arrow speed ourselves. But, you know, 336 feet per second, that is pretty fast in today's world with that SP2 cam, especially as smooth as it is. Sometimes when you get to higher speeds, uh, you know, what do they say? Speed ain't free. So it's got to come from somewhere. And a lot of times you have a harsh draw cycle that helps you with that speed. This one does not have that. Up to 336 feet per second, we'll see what we get. And that 336 feet per second, incidentally, is on the performance mod. That's the mod that's gonna come with the bow. Um, there is a smooth mod where your speed rating's gonna go down and the cam is even smoother still. But that 336, that's with the performance mod, which is what I have here. And back to the tuning uh, features there. If you needed it, although I'll be honest, I can only recall one time I have ever used it on a bow that had the set technology. 
they do have their linear tunable roller. So, the, you know, this is their roller guard. The cables roll through here at, during the draw cycle. And you can see I've got these lines on here. So I can move that, this part of the cable arm in and out in, in the tuning process. As I said, the set is gonna be your main tuning feature. And only one time can I recall ever having to use this on a bow that had set. All right, so the Elite Carbon Eon, you know, you can see I have this bow built already here, but we're gonna show you a little bit of the build process, and then we're gonna go tune it. You're gonna see that set in action, and we're gonna get our arrow speeds, then we're gonna take it outside, put this thing through the paces. All right, we got the Elite Carbon Eon. We're gonna build this thing, then we're gonna go out, shoot through paper, and get a speed test. All right, ready to check the cam timing on the Elite Carbon Eon. All right, top cam is a little bit fast, so I'm gonna put a twist into it. All right, now our timing's good on the Eon. All right, I've got a peep sight on, then we'll go outside here, shoot through paper, and get a speed test. All right, Elite Carbon Eon. We are gonna do our paper test here. Shoot through paper, see if how our tune is. Man, that is just the slightest bit knock left. So what we know about the elites, the beauty is we have our set technology, simplified exact tuning. So what we have right here is we have a lockdown screw and then this bolt. And right here is your guide. Tail left, I'm gonna go counterclockwise. Tail right, I'm gonna go clockwise. So it even tells you which way to turn it. Um, and you know, we're right here on the line, so I am not going back to a bow press. I'm just gonna unlock my lockdown screw. Once I do that, remember tail left, we wanna give it a little bit, and it is so slight. I'm gonna try, well, I always try a quarter turn, so I'm gonna go right there and see what that does for us. So what it's doing is it's manipulating the cam position, but it's manipulating it at the pocket. So it's similar to cam lean, but it's doing it from the pocket, which is a better place to do it. Cause you know, looking from the back, I don't see any cam lean at all. And now we'll shoot again. Let's see what we got. Still a little bit tail left. Let's do it again. Now, my friend Darren Christianberry scolded me saying, hey, what you do to the top, you should do to the bottom. Sometimes when it only needs a very little bit, I just work with the top. But since that didn't work on the first try with just a little bit of a turn, I am going to go down here and turn the bottom one before I do anything else. There we go. Tail left, same thing. I'll do about a quarter turn. So they have the lockdown screw, but I've been told actually by a couple of the guys, the way it's designed Nothing's going, you're not going to mess anything up if you forget to do the lockdown screw, but of course it's always good to do it. I don't know if they get any prettier than that. There we go. So this was number one, this was number two, 
I think I probably torqued a little bit, but there's number three, absolutely perfect. All right, now let's get our speed. See what our arrow speed is for the Carbon Eon. All right, Elite Carbon Eon. Of course, we wanna do our speed test, which means we gotta start with getting the draw weight of our bow here. And we are right at 70.8 pounds. What did I see for holding? 5.8, 70.8 pounds. You're holding 5.8 at full draw. That's, a, that's crazy. We got our 350 grain arrow. We are set at 30 inches. So 70 pounds, 350 grains, 30 inches. Those are the specs that bow companies use to get their speed test. We'll see what we can get here. Three twenty-eight point five. Shoot another one. Three twenty-eight point one. Pretty good. All right, so now we're gonna go outside with the Carbon Eon, shoot it on the range, see what it's like shooting this bow. All right, here we go. Elite Carbon Eon figured a cool challenge. Our uh, archery deer season just opened two weeks ago. So we got a 3D deer up there 85 yards away. So I'm not shooting 85 yards at a real deer, but Hey, it's fun to do it when it's a 3D deer. So I'm imagining this is that 200 incher out in the food plot, 85 yards away. I gotta do my best to be like Darren Christian Berry here and see if I can get this thing. We're going, this is a bow hunting setup, so we're not going for any scoring rings, we're going for the kill shot. So, I'm calling that deer dead. I'm using a big expandable broadhead there. First shot, you saw it, that's a dead deer. We'll go up there, we have the, another camera pointing at it, but we'll go up there and check it out. Make a comment below if you think that's a dead deer. I think it's a dead deer. All right, Whew. look at that. It's a little bit right of where I ideally would want it, but I'm definitely finding this deer. Big two inch expandable broadhead on there, straight through the liver. I'm gonna give him a couple hours, but I am finding this deer. 85 yards, first shot with the Carbon Eon from Elite. This thing's a shooter. All right, so what's the point of that anyway? That's just, uh, I feel comfortable shooting this thing at distance. So this is a carbon bow, holds super nice, obviously, if I'm able to do that uh, on my first shot. So something else I wanted to talk about too, um, vibration. Carbon bow, you don't really get vibration, you get a thump. And so this is the same riser as the carbon era. And that was the thing that struck me back then that strikes me now is, you just don't feel anything at the shot. I expect a certain amount of thump with carbon, and I just don't feel that with the carbon Eon. So for bow hunting, I mean, this thing is just a pleasure to shoot because of that. Uh, the draw cycle is really nice. You know, this new SP2 cam, nice and smooth. I have it at 90%. I'm gonna say if I were gonna shoot it for any length of time, I'd probably go down to 85. Feels just a little bit loose, but Obviously not too loose, uh, but just a nice bow to shoot. And I'm a big fan of that SP2 cam. Draw cycle's nice, shooting is nice. You know, we've been shooting this thing uh, all morning here and I've just been stacking them in the dots. So 
Nice shooting bow there, Carbon Eon. All right, that is the Elite Carbon Eon. Great new carbon offering from the folks at Elite for 2025. If you wanna see this bow with all the draw weight and color options, there are a ton of colors that Elite offers this bow in. Uh, be sure to click the link in the description below. This is a pro shop only bow, so you're gonna have to get it from your local pro shop. If we are your local pro shop, come on out. Give this thing a shot, put a couple arrows through it, see how you like it. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up. If you want to see more videos like it, subscribe to our YouTube channel. Don't forget to click that bell to get notifications whenever we put out new videos. And as always, if you have any questions, you can visit us at LancasterArchery.com. <laughs>